here are nine proprioception exercises to complete for ankle osteoarthritis. Welcome or welcome back to Age Fit with Tess. I'm Tess, physiotherapist. Altered proprioception can be a part of ankle osteoarthritis and can impact everyday function and balance. Exercises are one way to improve proprioception and balance for those with ankle osteoarthritis. By the end of this video, you are going to know how to complete nine proprioception exercises for ankle osteoarthritis. This video is part of the ankle exercises for osteoarthritis series linked in the description. Let's get started. Starting with weight shift, with your feet shoulder width apart, lean from one side to the other. Repeat eight times. When living with ankle osteoarthritis, balance may not be as good as it once was. This is because balance impairment can occur with ankle osteoarthritis. Some signs of balance impairment include reaching for a railing walking up and down the stairs, looking down at the ground more often when walking, or taking wider or shorter steps. Proprioception, as part of the somatosensory system, contributes to balance alongside the vestibular system and visual system. Exercises to improve balance aim to improve proprioceptive feedback mechanisms and subsequent balance reactions. Repeat, lean from one side to the other, shifting your weight to your right foot and then to your left foot. The second exercise is feet together stance. Standing next to a stable object such as a table or chair, place your feet side by side as close together as possible. Hold for as long as you can, up to around 30 seconds. If you feel you need to, place your hand near the chair to assist with balance. The third exercise is feet together stance, now with your eyes closed. Again, hold for as long as you can, up to around 30 seconds. Proprioception is the sense of body position and movement in space. The proprioception sense is the focus of this video because of its contribution to balance, which can be impaired for those with ankle osteoarthritis. The fourth exercise is tandem stance. Standing with your feet shoulder width apart, take a step forward with your right leg. Hold for 30 seconds. If you feel yourself losing balance, hold onto the chair next to you. The receptors that sense proprioception are called proprioceptors and are primarily found in the muscles, joints and tendons. These receptors detect changes in muscle length, the speed of change in muscle length, the load or resistance placed on a limb, and joint position. Repeat, this time taking a step forward with your left leg. To progress tandem stance, close your eyes. Closing your eyes increases the difficulty of the exercise by removing the input from the visual system placing more reliance on feedback from proprioceptors to maintain balance. Hold for as long as you can, up to 30 seconds. If closing your eyes is too difficult, keep your eyes open. The fifth exercise is a lunge. Standing in a tandem stance position with your right foot forward, bend at your knees, then rise. Repeat eight times. Complete either a mini lunge or a full lunge. Lunges are a progression of tandem stance with the addition of movement. Movement adds an element of functionality and specificity as day-to-day -day activity requiring balance often involves movement of the joints and muscles above the ankle. Switch your feet to position your left foot forward. Again, bend at your knees, then rise. Repeat eight times. 
When completing ankle proprioception exercises, it is beneficial to practice the exercise for both sides. This is because research has found that proprioception can be impaired on both ankles where one ankle is injured and the other is intact. Links to research articles on ankle osteoarthritis and proprioception are in the description below. The seventh exercise is clocks. Standing with your feet shoulder width apart, step your right foot forward. Then out to the side, then backward, coming to the middle after each step. Repeat four times. When completing clocks, picture yourself standing in the middle of a clock face, stepping to six o'clock, three o'clock and 12 o'clock. Clocks, similar to lunges, are a dynamic exercise involving movement. Unlike lunges, clocks also have the added challenge of working across multiple planes of movement the sagittal plane when stepping forward and backward, and the frontal plane when stepping to the side. This assists to engage proprioceptors located in different muscle groups. Repeat, this time tap your toes lightly on the ground rather than stepping. Repeat two times. When completing toe taps, you should not feel weight through your foot doing the taps, but rather your stabilizing foot. This is where you are maintaining balance. Continue, this time lunging rather than stepping. Lunge forward, out to the side, then backward. Similar to the lunges earlier, this could be a mini lunge or a full lunge. Repeat with your left foot, starting with four rounds of stepping. Once proprioceptive information is sent to the brain from receptors, the brain combines the information with information from the visual system and the vestibular system to interpret where our body is in relation to our environment and how the body is moving. For example, when completing the clock exercise, the vestibular system senses when we are standing upright, the visual system identifies we are standing on grass, and proprioception tells us when our foot lands on the ground beneath the grass. This is an oversimplistic example, but hopefully demonstrates how these systems can work together. Again, stepping forward, then to the side, then backward. Continuing, this time tap your toes lightly on the ground rather than stepping. Repeat two times. Once proprioception information is interpreted in our brain, signals are sent back to the muscles to provide adjustments in our body position to maintain balance. This process is repeated so that proprioceptors are continuously monitoring posture with subsequent adjustments in muscle activity as needed to maintain balance. Repeat, this time lunging rather than stepping. Proprioception exercises form part of a rehabilitation program for ankle osteoarthritis alongside range of motion exercises, strength exercises, and functional exercises. Videos on these exercises can be found in the Ankle Osteoarthritis Exercise Series found on the HFit with Tess YouTube channel. Join the HFit with Tess Facebook group to get further support managing pain, building strength, and gaining fitness. If you have osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis or chronic joint pain and are unsure if you have the right exercise program put together, make sure to get your complimentary Age Fit with Test self-assessment to identify if you are meeting 10 key components of a successful exercise program. Head to www.agefitwithtest.com to get your copy. See you next time.